feeding off each other like that? How unique is it and how challenging is it just to key in on on one of them when both of them have it going like that? Yeah, it's a, it's a great duo. Um, you know, but their games really complement each other. You have one guy that's, uh, you know, really can score in a lot of different ways. Um, another guy who's setting great screens or handoffs. Um, and then if a ball gets back to him, he can get a bunch of people involved. Um, and certainly at, at, at the beginning of the game, that, that kind of set the tone. But then from there, uh, we lost a lot of physical um, 50-50 or ball in the air, ball on the floor battles um, throughout the course of the game at key moments. When, when the moments could have been swing moments, they were coming up with uh, those plays. Uh, you have to expect that, uh, not losing the battles. You have to expect there to be elite talent uh, in, the, in the finals. And both those guys are elite level talent. Uh, at our best version, we've find ways to overcome that, uh, make it tough on them, uh, and then certainly not lose the overwhelming majority of, of those um, physical battles. Uh, the 50-50 battles, the ball in the air, ball on the floor battles. Uh, um, and, and, and that made it too much to overcome. You know, the, the, the dynamic of those two, but uh, also getting all the, the extra, you know, effort points. We're going to stay on the right side in the first row. Cooper Moore, headheat.com. They only took 18 threes, which is low for anybody. So was there a an effort to take away the three-point line that maybe influenced the, what they were able to get done in the paint? No, I wouldn't even say that. You know, they just pummeled us in the paint. Um, they didn't They didn't really have to shoot threes. Uh, they had, whatever, 60 in the paint. Um, they probably shot over 65% uh, at the paint at, at, at the rim. Um, there wasn't a need to space the floor. Um we didn't offer much resistance, uh, and a lot of those plays were relief points in, in transition that kind of gave them uh, some separation, some cuts, some timely uh, cuts, uh, and then timely offensive rebounds that led to uh, either buckets or, or free throw attempts You know, from there. I thought offensively we actually did get a lot of opportunities in the paint. Um, I haven't seen the percentage. I don't have my glasses right now, but uh, I would have to say our, our percentage at the rim or in the paint was, was pretty poor. Um, yes, you do have to credit their, their size and everything like that, but we're, we've, we've proven that we can, we can finish uh, in the paint. Uh, um, you know, when we're uh, uh, at our best. Um, but offensively, yeah, there, there's some definitely some things where we got flattened out uh, and and they jammed us up in possessions, got us late into possessions, and and then sometimes we were forced with those plays, and, and that can kind of have a different flow and feel to it than if it's just, you know, in our typical, um, you know, rhythm uh, of our offense. Yes. First row in the middle. I mean, yeah. I suppose this is uh, Will Giller from The Athletic. Uh, throughout the playoffs, you talked about the, the confidence you guys have in uh, the guys outside of Bam and Jimmy to produce and put up big numbers for you guys offensively. Uh, what do you think kind of made it difficult on those group of guys tonight? Uh, you know, I, I just think sometimes when for, for us, you know, when we lose a lot of those physical battles, you know, the effort plays, the loose balls, the, the rebounding battles, uh, that's our identity. Um, and, and sometimes that can uh, affect the flow of the rest of your game. Uh, that's not an excuse. Um, you know, I think the, the thing that we've proven over and over and over is we can win and find different ways to win regardless of whether we have confidence, regardless of whether the ball's going in. We have a, 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 a determination um, to impact the game. Uh, and and find a different solution or different way to win a game, regardless of whether the ball's going in. Uh, you know, it felt like at times, you know, some of those missed shots at, at the rim or in the paint, the makeable shots that we've made, you know, the last several months or weeks, uh, that that affected a little bit of our um, 
whatever going down the other end. Um, and that hasn't happened, you know, a, a lot. Uh, I do want to get to the film because I'm not totally sure about that. It just, it felt like that. Um, you know, we're at our best when, when we're winning those battles first. So you can just check that box. The physical battles, 50-50s, ball in the air, ball on the floor. Um, we win those battles. We figure everything else out uh, along the way. Second row in the middle. Hey, Spo, Vince Goodwill, Yahoo Sports. I think the rebound margin was the greatest since like 1972 in a finals game. When you think about this as being what you guys do, was that the message in the locker room of uh, telling the guys, hey, we, ha we have to rebound, we have to get to the 50-50? Because it feels like that's the only thing you've said since you've been up here. Yes. <laughs> well said. <laughs> First row on, on the right side, Tim Reynolds. Tim Reynolds, Associated Press. Eric, I know you can't do anything about the schedule, obviously. Is it a good thing that there's only one day between this one instead of sitting around stewing on yeah, this one for two I, days? I, yeah, I would think so. Um, they probably felt the same way, you know, coming off their, their loss at uh, the extra day, you know, whatever they um, – yeah. Our, our guys are built to compete, built to get out there um, – that cadence of playing every 48 hours. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll get to work tomorrow for sure. Uh, but our guys, uh, you know, they want to get out there and compete uh, um, and have a better showing, you know, for sure. Last question, Coach, in the middle. Uh, Eric Rohan, Otkini, Sports Illustrated. I asked you before the game about Denver getting out in transition, even <laughs> off misses, not necessarily turnovers. You said something to the effect of when Jokic piles up the rebounds, you know, he kind of starts pushing the ball. I think he obviously had many, many rebounds tonight, 20. What's the first step in slowing them down once he gets the rebound? Like, what, what, what does it start in terms of stopping them from getting out and running? Yeah, there's a lot of different layers to that, right? Uh, your offensive execution, your intentionality offensively, uh, getting the right shots, uh, it certainly helps, you know, making uh, the, some of those shots in the paint um, or at the rim. Uh, but regardless, we've proven that we can we can figure it out even if we're not making, you know, 70 percent uh, of shots in the paint or, or uh, uh, on rim attempts. Um, but then your floor balance matters um, and then your next play speed, you know, the, the, the brain speed to, to get onto the next play. Um, and make sure you have uh you know three or four guys back uh and then and then communication from there uh they did get some relief points um you know particularly in that first half when it when it was either tied or we had small leads that they just came right back uh you know with some relief points uh that just kind of kept them alive and kept them momentum uh you know shifting a little bit all thank right you, thank coach. you